Hi, I'm Dr. Roadhouse, and I want to introduce you to my patient, uh, Sally Ola. Uh, Sally, why don't you tell us about, you know, uh, your back problem? Well, it started in about uh, 1983 or 4. I had a, I was in the wrong end of a back a rear end collision. Okay. And I went to all the orthopedic doctors, and they had me on all sorts of stuff, and I was a zombie. Okay. And it didn't help. Well, what were your symptoms at that time? I, uh, I had very bad back, lower back pain. Mm -hmm. I also had neck pain. Okay. That, uh, and I was trying to teach school when it was tough. Okay. So when you had the, after the accident, uh, prior to the accident, you never had any problem, no. right? Okay, so you had really, really bad back pain. Were you ever, like, stuck forward to the side or anything like that? Uh, I tended to walk, you know, for stiff. Okay. But also leaning forward. Leaning forward. Anything into the leg at all? Uh, I had leg pains. Yeah. Okay, fine. So that progressed for a while, and then you uh, heard about our decompression program, and you wanted to come in for that. So we evaluated you, and then we thought, well, it's been a while since you've had an MRI, because you had an MRI where you had one bulging yeah. disc, and it was a while ago. So we did another MRI on you, just to see where we're at, and see if anything changed, because your symptoms have progressively gotten worse, right? Right. Okay, so we sent you for the MRI, and remember what we found? Five bulging discs. Okay, in the lower back. In the lower back. Yeah. Okay, at that point, it progressed a lot more. The pain came more, limited your act. What kind of activities were limited before you came in to see us? Uh, well, I had to quit cleaning my house. Ooh, that wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> Husband wasn't too happy about no. that. No, he wasn't. And you weren't either, because you like to keep a clean um, house. There were a lot of things. I swear dance, and I had to cut, almost quit swear dancing. Because it, if I remember when you did the square dancing, you're certain twirling, right? Just, just you know. And even I tried to tell people, don't swing me, mm -hmm. but they would automatically and not think about it. And it, then I would have to sit out for the rest of the night. Okay, all right. Now, what about like when you first got up in the morning? What was it like? My back hurt every morning, and sometimes it would get better. Mm -hmm. um, Sometimes it would get a lot worse, depending on what I did. I couldn't lift anything. Yeah. So over, you know, several years, it just progressed and got worse and worse. And then you came for the decompression program. And um, so we evaluate you, and then we sent you for the MRI. We found five bulging discs. And then we also, during the time uh, of the examination, we also did the cerebellum testing. And you'd noticed about your balance. You want to tell them about how your balance was? Uh, I had to be very careful when I moved because, especially when I turned, mm -hmm. because I would fall. Because mm -hmm. dizziness, like? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so then when we did the testing, we found you cere the cerebellum had a problem and it has to do with balance coordination, but it also controls all the spinal muscles, you know, down the spine. And, um, you know, on your lower back, you remember what? your muscles look like on your lower back and feel like? Well, yeah, because, and, and what you told me, mm -hmm. is that one side was fairly, not too bad. Mm -hmm. The other one was frozen. Right, and when you were lying on your stomach, you know, there was an obvious difference, you know, like this here. So though, from five discs, the nerves that go there, the muscles have atrophied over time. So anyway, we did the decompression, it took a long time because you had five discs, well worth it, right? Yes. Okay, all right. So we worked on the discs, and we're in the process of doing the rehab to strengthen that side to balance them out. So yeah. talk about how you are now compared to when you first came in to see us. Uh, much better. Uh, unfortunately, I'm now able to clean my house <laughs> <laughs> and run the sweeper to <laughs> change the bed, things I don't like to do. Uh -huh. uh, I also just came back from a road trip. Okay. to South Florida, and I had no, well, I had a little back pain, mm -hmm. but nothing like it had been before, Yeah, where it would take a month <laughs> to recover. Right. Yeah, because before, if you just went, like, you know, from here to Oklahoma City, yeah. it, was, it would be bad. Right. So we're doing good, and part of that, the, I mean, the number one thing that's awesome is that you could go all the way there and back and still enjoy your vacation while you're down there, okay? 
but you had a little bit of uh, back soreness, but that has to do with the muscles because the muscles on this side are gonna fatigue before this one here, and that's what we're working on right now. That's the side I drive with. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, now what about square dancing and all that stuff? Um, unfortunately, my husband is not having any problems. Okay, <laughs> so you're not so doing we're, square? We are, we are. We're okay. still square dancing. We don't dance as much as we used to mm -hmm. because number one, we've gotten out of the habit. Okay. And just because you haven't been able to go yeah. and practice because yeah. of your back and stuff, but you're going back to it now. Uh, yeah, in fact, we're working on a, a national square dance convention. That you guys are? We're part, uh, we are in charge of one of the, is, uh, the vendors that are going to sell things. So okay. we have to be there and we go to a lot of meetings and a lot of traveling. Okay, all right. So overall, um, you know, I mean, how's it affected you just, I mean, attitude wise and you know enjoying the day I mean what can well you know I, I'm just trying to because we didn't I saw you okay and my staff saw you but no one else has seen you beforehand so kind of paint a picture for them, you know what it was you know what you can do now the one thing that I find now is that occasionally <laughs> I just realized you know I don't feel my back anymore mm -hmm. there's yeah. no pain in my back mm -hmm. and I have long stretches of no pain and then of course I do something stupid and <laughs> yeah. but it goes away quickly. Yeah. Yeah, so that's more of the muscle pain on the balancing it. But I mean you're doing things now that you couldn't yeah. even dream that you did before, right? Right. Okay. And you know, I mean it's not covered by insurance. It's expensive but you know, worth it? Yes it is. Okay, thanks. Well anyway, what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna do an update on you a little bit later after we balance it to see if we can get rid of that little muscle ache. But the good news now is that when you do something and it does, you, you know, your back aches, okay, the nice thing is that it goes away. Where before, it, you know, when the way your discs were, when it was related to the disc, when you did something, you paid for it for quite some yes. time and it severely limited all your activities. So you're able to do many more things now than what you did before. Yes. Okay. Well, thanks, Sally. We'll check back in with you uh, after we get everything strengthened and get those muscles balanced, okay? okay. okay.